the All the Things sale and event. Greetings, Mac Warriors. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is TTB. Good to see you. Well, it's one of the TTB shopping guide videos once again. All the Macs are currently 50% off, and as always, I get questions, TTB, which Macs should I buy? And every time I go like, yeah, you know what? I should probably just direct people to the old videos, but um, seeing as some stuff was on sale, some stuff isn't on sale, I will just quickly go through these Macs, and I will give you recommendations based on best bang for your buck for C-Bills and best bang for your buck for MC. Before we do anything, though, however, guys... Mac bays are on sale, 150 MC each. This is the time to buy a lot of Mac bays for later. Now, let's get into the Battle Mac, shall we? And um, if I don't have a particular recommendation for a specific Mac model or a specific Mac type, for example, the adder, then I might just go ahead and skip it all together because I'd rather not recommend anything than recommend something that isn't really good. So. For the adder, uh, I know there's a model in here that you can run with a uh, LB20. Um, it might be the adder delta, but honestly, adders, I wouldn't recommend them. We don't see them that often, so stay away from them. Arctic Cheetah, um, maybe just go with the Arctic Cheetah Prime if you want one of those. If I don't mention the Hero Max guys, it means that I won't recommend to buy them. So Arctic Cheetah, maybe get the Prime if you like the uh, Light Mac Clan gameplay. Commandos, um, they're all pretty solid. The Death Snell is interesting for a uh, hero mech with the four medium, four medium lasers. They could also do four medium pulses. Um, other than that, <laughs> I'm doing it again. I'm, also, I'm already going into builds. Guys, if you want to see builds for these mechs, just go ahead and search through my channel. So 2D and the Death Snell are most interesting here. Cougars, um, same thing as with the Adder, not really that widely used. Firestarter, the uh, Ember is interesting, and the Firestorm is interesting, but those are all insanely good mechs. If you want a solid, small laser boat, for example, go with the Firestarter Alpha. The Fleas, these are good mechs. I would recommend you go with the, uh, where is it, the Flea 20, because that thing can go with ECM and Stealth. If you don't get the 20, you might want to check out the Flea 19 for... <laughs> Lots of light machine guns or a very simple flea 17 for just your normal flea action with a little bit of mask included. Then for the Incubus, um, basically I would recommend one variant only and that would be the Incubus 4 because you can run six medium lasers on that thing. Very, very nice on a light mech. Javelins, um, you don't see them very often. Um, I would say maybe the 10F or the 10N if you're looking for a brawler. For the Jenners, um, the Oxide is a decent enough brawler. Other than that, you can run something like a Jenner F, for example, uh, with a nice setup of medium lasers. Jenner 2C, I would recommend to just buy one variant. Just get the straight up Jenner 2C at 3.5 million C bills. Very, very nice brawler. Kit Fox, um, here's my first recommendation for a hero mech the Kit Fox Purifier. Really, really good. The Kit Fox Gulf is also pretty nice because you can do like a, a weird build together with, with some purifier parts um, to get some really, really good stuff going on here, um, especially with PPCs. And the Gulf also comes equipped with ECM. Let me go into the Locusts, and I would say the most interesting one here is definitely the Pirate's Bane with uh, its ability to run ECM and stealth. Mistlinkses, I would not recommend. They're basically a toned down version of the Piranha. And since the Piranha is in the game, I wouldn't recommend the Mistlinks anymore. Although the Mistlinks does have jump jets. Osiris, um, your run of the mill light mech. There are a lot of variants available. Maybe look at the 4 Delta, because it comes equipped with uh, the ability to have 6 energy weapons. The Panther, um,. It's a mech that some people like a lot, some people don't like it. I recommend to check out the Katana Cat, has some really, really nice quirks for PPCs. Then we get into the Piranhas. Uh, I think the Cypher is really good, fun mech to play. And then if you're looking to buy a Piranha for C builds, get the Piranha 1 for the 12 machine gun action, or get the Piranha, which is it, the 2 for lots and lots of small lasers. And something to check out, guys, and something that I'm going to buy right now is going to be the Piranha Alpha, because that is the only light mech, in my opinion, as far as I know, that can run quad AMS. So this thing can run as much AMS as a Corsair. That's why I'm buying it, because I didn't have one so far. Then there is uh, the Ravens. Uh, if you want to do, like, longer range sniping, maybe look at the Raven 3L, but 
Ah, uh, it's a raven. Spider. Uh, I hear Magic Pangloff shouting already, but nope. <laughs> no spiders. Urban mechs. Well, here we go. Urban mech K9 must have, in my opinion, the most tanky light mech there is. Really, really good. Really fun to play. Five medium pulse leaders. So, and has the um, siren up top. I forgot to click the mechs. There we go. And you can actually turn this on and it uh, shows a little lighting effect and goes so really, really nice. Urban mech K9. Go buy this thing. It's a lot of fun. And if you're not getting the urban mech K9, then you could look at, for example, the Urban Mac, which is it, the R... Burp, 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 R68, for example, where you can do an MRM build on that, for example, or you just grab something like the uh, R60L and do something like medium lasers and, and a large laser. That could also work. And then the Wolfhounds, last but not least, Wolfhound Grinner, recommended by really, really good Hero Mac, also as about on the same level as the Urban Mac K9. If you don't get one of these, um, also has ECM, by the way. If you don't get one of these, then get the Wolfhound 2. We will sort of build for six medium pulse lasers, for example, and also quite tanky. Okay, that covers our light max. Now we are talking about mediums. Uh, the Arctic Wolf is a little bit of a weird thing that always throws a curveball in my way because some of them are Omnimax and some of them are Battle Max, where you can't swap out the parts. Um, I recommend you to have a look at the Arctic Wolf, which is it, the Alpha, because you can run ECM on that, that can be very helpful and can be very good for you. But also the Arctic Wolf 1 can run a boatload of missiles, but uh, be careful, because if I am correct, this one, yeah, this one is not an Omnimog, as you can see, and no parts to swap out, this is a battle mech, so be careful about that. So I would recommend um, either the, the Alpha or the 1. Then we're going into the Assassin territory, and I would say Assassin 20, which is a 21 or 23. Assassin 21, definitely very good mech. Um, or is it Assassin? Nope, that's not it. The Dark Death, it's a connoisseur's item, but it's really weird to make worth, uh, so I wouldn't recommend that. So if you get an Assassin, start with 21, use it as a brawler, or um, have a look at the 101 Mixed Energy and Missile Weapons. Then we go into the Blackjacks, guys. Blackjack, the arrow. Really interesting mech. Two large pulses and machine guns can be fun to play. But if you want to have... So definitely not a bad hero mech. But for really, really good fun, you can take a lot of them. The 1DC is pretty good for Dakar and lasers. Um, the 1X is a nice energy boat. And the Blackjack 3 is a special tip for using it with two heavy PPCs, one here and one here. Makes a hell of a brawler. And don't forget about the... which one is it? Blackjack 2, I believe. Because that is a really, really nice small missile boat, which has a cooldown on uh, Inosphere Strix. Can be a lot of fun as well. Then we go into the Black Lanners, that is Omnimac territory, so uh, I could recommend to just get the Prime because it comes equipped with ECM on the get-go. Actually, the Alpha gets ECM as well. Um, so maybe go with the, let's see, Alpha has 4 energy, the Prime has a little bit more varied loadout. So it really doesn't matter since it's an Omnimac, you can just mix and match. Just get the base item or the baseline uh, build that has the ECM first. Bushbacker, the High Roller, not a bad Hero Mac, nice with Daka. If you don't want to get that, um, the X, which one is it? The X2 has some nice Raka Daka applications as well. If you want to go brawling with the Bushy, then maybe the Bushbacker S2 is uh, something for you. Centurions, um, solid mechs, but a little bit of an acquired taste. Um, the Yen Luang is nice if you want to learn torso twisting with the AC20 and two medium lasers. Um, if you don't want to do that, then maybe have a look at the... which one is it? The... Bu -bu -bu -bum. I just have to wait for this to show up. The AL, for example, runs quite nice with four medium lasers and a nice MRM launcher in the side torso. But you can also choose weapon variants that have like three missile slots and just use them for three streaks. Also quite a nice uh, set of builds. But um, yeah, just have a look at that. That's not a straight recommendation because I can't straight up recommend the Centurion. It's just just a just a good run of the mill medium sized mech. Cicadas, eh, there's nothing special about them. If you want to try out the Cicada gameplay, go for the 2A and slap six medium lasers on it. Then the crabs. There is the crab bu, 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 27 double AMS and medium lasers or double AMS and medium pulse lasers. Standard engine, nice zombie mech. Very, very nice. Recommend it to try out. On the dervish side of things, these are all solid mechs. The 6M, for example, is a nice laser and missile brawler. 
Um, there's also other variants in there, but yeah, you could also think about getting the 8 Delta, but honestly, ah, 6M is just better because it has the Missile Squad, uh, missile Spread quirk. Um, the other ones, not as interesting to me at this point. The Enforcer, the Gilly is a nice uh, hero mech if you want to run a, what is that, 40, how much charge, 50 ton um, medium mech. You can run that with a Ghost Rifle in the arm and then some medium lasers plus uh, stealth and <laughs> that's a nice paint job. So if that sounds fun, like fun to you, give that one a try. Other than that, the other Enforcer models are all not too bad. Maybe go with the Enforcer 4P because that can run like an AC-20 and 4 medium lasers. The Griffins, oh, well, that is very simple for me to make a recommendation. The Griffin 2N, in my opinion, is the best one in here. That thing can run quad SRM6, quad Streak 6s, MRMs, and whatnot, all together with ECM. Um, do XL it. Play this with an XL engine, guys. Don't be afraid, the arms are good shields. Learn to play this with an XL, that is crucial for playing a good Griffin. Also, a good Griffin is the Griffin, Griffin 3M. Uh, which is basically like the 2N, only that it doesn't have ECM, and all the weapons are concentrated on that right-hand side torso. Then the Hell Spawns, in my opinion, the best buy here for the Hell Spawns is the, which is it, the moment, quick moment, yep, yeah. the 8 Echo. Uh, you can do an SRM brawler with this, plus energy weapons, you can do a... An MRM mech with this, um, it has ECM, it has jump jets. My recommendation, XL Engine 3 Streak 6s. Really, really good mech. We've gotten this up to 1200 damage. So, Hellspawn 8 Echo. Then there come the Hunchbacks. Well, if you want the authentic Hunchback experience, Hunchback 4G is a really, really nice mech. Fun mech to play, nice brawler. The Hunchback um, 4P, if you like lots of lasers, very fun to play. 4J, no, 4SP, if you are more into MRMs. And the Gridiron is a solid hero mech, I would say. Hunchback 2C. Well, very simple to sum up, because these mechs, if I'm not mistaken, are also battle mechs. Yep, not Omni mechs, so no switching out parts here. So think about which wiring you want to buy first. Um, 2C is for Daka, the 2CA is your laser boat, and the 2CB is your missile boat. That's all you need to know about the Hunchbacks. They're all good, um, depending on what you like to play, go for either Daka, lasers, or missiles. Then come the Huntsman's, the packet is a nice hero mech, definitely playable, definitely fun to play. If you don't get that, then just get any of these, because these are Omni mechs, maybe just go with the Prime. The Ice Fridge... Stay, for, stay away from it, guys. It's just not a, it's just not a very good mech. Kintaro's, the Golden Boy, is a nice, fun hero mech, especially as a streak taro. Fun to play and nice, unique paint job. If you don't get that thing, get the Kintaro 18. Nova's, um, very simple. You only need one model, potentially. That's the Nova. Let me see if I am correct here. Burp, 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 burp. Because we can do a crypt, triple AMS build here, and I think you need the Nova S for that. Because that has the center torso AMS slot, exactly. So you buy the Nova S, guys, and then just get the um, arms, for example, from the Nova Prime. That way you have a triple AMS mech that can run knife fighter small lasers, for example. Phoenix Hawks are all not too bad. Um, if you want to get one, I would say think about getting the Phoenix Hawk 2 because that thing comes equipped with ECM. Shadowcats, just get the Prime if you like that kind of run and gun PPC playstyle. Shadowhawks, all nice mechs. Um, the 2H, if you like Rakadaka. The 2D2, if you like brawling with missiles. And then there is the 2, which is the K, I believe. Yep, where you can do like three large pulse lasers here on the left side torso. Grey Death, not a bad mech. Uh, has a nice uh, paint job here from the Grey Death Legion. Stormcrows, just get the Prime. Trebuchet, Loop the Air. Fun mech to play, I recommend to get that. Really, really good uh, missile boat with lasers. If you don't get that, get the, um, which is it, the 7K, I believe. Yeah, 7K and uh, the 7M have insane cooldowns for missiles and uh, a lot of fun to play. Actually, the 7K is the wrong, I actually recommend you guys the wrong one. The 7K is not the one I meant, I meant the 7M for a, for example, MRM boat. Really nice to play. Yuzil, um, a little bit of a weird mech, 
if you're thinking about getting the Uzeal, just get the 6P. That's the easiest to play. Just slap um, 6 medium pulses in there, for example, and you will be good. Vapor Eagles, uh, the Vapor Eagles have potentially the most overpowered mech in the game right now. Um, they're all pretty good, and they are all battle mechs, so no Omni hardpoints. So you have to choose which, which variants to get. If you want easy match score, Vapor Eagle 3, just slap, attack, and uh, 3 ATM 9s, or if you're brave like me, 3 ATM 12s on there, and just clag away at the enemy. Other than that, um, Vapor Eagle 2 is a nice uh, boat for Daka. And the Vapor Eagle, which one is it? The Alpha can actually run an Atlas Brawling build with an, AC, uh, an LB20 and a Quad SRM6. It is <laughs> ridiculous. Very good mechs, both the R, uh, the Alpha, and the 3. Vindicators, eh. Vipers, eh. Vulcans. Well, get the Vulcan 5T. It's a really, really good mech. Really fast, really agile really fun to play and the wolverines well um they're, they're a little bit more of a, a quiet taste um some of these models can actually equip, equip mask the quarantine is also not horribly bad but uh, maybe look at the i want to say 7k but i have to verify that to see if it can actually run this nope it was not the 7k i am mistaken because there is a that's this, then it should be the 6k then because one of these wolverines can run mask and this is not it. Okay. Maybe I'm looking at the wrong mech here. And you guys will get a few moments later scene. Well, actually, this should be it then. The 7 Delta. Come on. There we go. Mask Mark 3. So, Wolverine 7 Delta can be quite nice if you use it with like MRM combo and a big engine and mask. You can go up to high, high speeds. Very unexpected for this kind of mech. So, get the 7 Delta. Okay. Switching over to heavy mech territory. Archer Tempest, that's a buy. It's a really solid mech. Double MRM-40, you'll have a lot of fun. Or double MRM-30 and six medium lasers. You can do a lot of things with that. It's a fun mech to play. The other archers, um, not as interesting in my opinion. The Tempest has the added benefit of having ECM. The Black Knights are all fairly similar laser boats. Um, maybe get the... where is it? This one has less heat. This one has... No, I just have to wait for the pop-ups to cover this as PPC. That we don't need that. Uh, the L has laser duration, so the Black Knight Six Bravo could be interesting for you guys. Um, there is also a Black Knight that should have is that two, double AMS. Yep, the Black Knight Six KNT also very interesting mech because it can run double AMS. But be aware, guys, if you play a Black Knight, it's shooting from the hip. It's a Tex yeah. Tex Max shooting from the hip. Black Knight uh, Partisan, not a bad mech. And you can also be very versatile with it because you can equip either Daka or Missile in that um, left arm. So it can be very versatile. Cataphracts. Um, how to make a recommendation here. Um, they're very outdated knuckle draggers. If you want to go with one and try out a brawler here, because they're dragging the knuckles in the ground, go with the 0 XP because that thing comes equipped with EM uh, ECM. That will help you be a little bit more safe. Catapults. Um... The Inner Sphere Linebacker, the Jester. This is... I would never have touched this mech before, but since I've played it now with um, a big light engine, light engine 350, I've, you guys have seen the video, and the uh, 6 medium pulse lasers uh, running up to, like, what, 94 kph? That's a recommended buy now. And uh, the Butterbee is also a nice uh, missile mech as well. So both the hero mechs here are not too bad. Um, if you don't get these, then maybe look at... Where is it? The... Uh, C1 isn't bad, but catapult in general, it's just easy to shoot off the arms. So maybe Jester and, and Butterbee. Champions. Um, these are all pretty good mechs, actually. The 1 and 2 is very, very solid with uh, heavy gauze and lasers. The 3N, same thing. The 2N, nice for uh, lasers and missiles. And we also got the 1N here. Um, all of these make good mechs, so just pick whatever. Um, hard point uh, system or whichever loadout system seems best to you, but probably try the the one and two with uh, heavy gauze. That should be a lot of fun. Then dragons, yeah, let's pass on those because they're gimmicky. Ebon Jaguars. Um, if you're looking to play a lot of Ebon Jaguars, get the speed of core because then you can just swap out parts to make it look like you want it to because it's an Omni mech. If you don't have MC and you just want to spend C bills, just get the Prime and 
you're you're covered and then go from there mix and match the parts grasshoppers um they're all interesting mechs you have to look at the quirks of course this one has for example uh minus 10 percent energy heat the other one here has cooldown energy cooldown and energy heat so this for example six energy hard points um not a bad one the 5n has eight energy hard points so for example three large lasers and uh <laughs> and five mediums that definitely works there but it has worse quirks for heat so you're gonna have to choose choose here but they're all not bad max milieu a uh, little bit gimmicky would not recommend it now hellbringer um, i would recommend to buy at least one hellbringer for your collection um, hellbringers are always great either get the hellbringer prime or if you want to play a lot of hellbringer get the hellbringer virago hero mech and then uh, deck it out to be like a prime with the um hard points used in the torsos then we look at the hellfires um some of the hellfires here are nice nice brawlers um let me just make sure that i'm telling this correctly yep so the hellfire is also a battle mech so be careful about that you get what you purchase uh, the interesting addition here is the mask and if you're just getting one hellfire and you enjoy brawling get the hellfire alpha and then you do a ghost rifle and four SRM6 of Artemis. And with, together with the mask, you have a very, very insane and fun to play brawler. The Void is also a nice hero mech. You can basically make a miniature death strike out of it with two Gauss rifles and five medium lasers. Jäger mech, acquired taste. Definitely acquired taste. Um, if you want to try one, maybe try the Alpha for lots of Daka on the arms. Then come the linebackers. Just get the linebacker prime. Once again, it is an omni mech. You can just mix and match the parts. The mad dog, uh, same thing. It's an omni mech. So just get the prime and mix and match the parts. Uh, Bandit and uh, Revenant aren't bad. If you choose one of these, I would probably go for the. Well, the Revenant has the cooler look. The Bandit has the Daka side trousers that you can't get anywhere else. So you probably want to go with the Bandit here. Then for the Marauders, oh, these are these are mostly all good. Marauder Bounty Hunter 2, highly recommended. Um, seven medium or six medium lasers plus a heavy ghost rifle. Marauder 5M, that is a nice build for double Rakadaka, for example. Marauder 5 Delta, that thing can run missiles here up top, very very nice with MRMs, for example, and uh, can also run jump jets. And the 3R, that is your classic Daka Marauder. Triple Rack 2, for example, it uh, turned out to be a really, really nice build on that. Actually, no, am I blind here? Yep, 3R. So 3R, 5D, 5M, depending on what kind of weapons you like, really, really good. And the Bounty Hunter 2, also highly recommended. Nightjar, just get the Prime. Actually, no, don't get the Prime. Get the one with the uh, ECM. This is the Nightjar H. Yeah, this one comes equipped with an ECM uh, right torso. So you could just easily put that back though. So if you just buy the right torso of the H, you will have the ECM. So it depends on what kind of model you want to buy. You could also just go with the Prime and then retrofit the H side torso. Um, be aware of the Night Delta. <laughs> <laughs> we've used this thing um quite funnily in the past for quad atm 12 it runs hot as hell but uh, it does so much damage then we get the nova cats um if you want to get one nova cat just get the bravo and try it out with a learn boat for example uh, you guys might remember that that uh, video that we did with uh, six lrm 15 very similar build to what is on screen right now where we did what 1700 damage so that was this mech definitely a fun mech to play uh, nova cat bravo orion's the protector is a decent hero mech nice for brawling and all other sorts of uh, jobs if you're not getting that then think about getting maybe the orion v or the orion va as a kind of a mini atlas orion 2c's are all very solid except the hero i haven't really found a good use for him yet so just get the orion what is that the 2c is it the alpha Burp, 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 burp. Yeah, just get the just get the Orion to see Alpha and build it like it says here in the Orion to see Alpha uh, champion mech thingy, which just gets thirty percent more XP, which is completely useless. Um, but long story short, get the Alpha, slap an RB twenty in there, quad SRM six, you're golden. I'm kind of losing my voice here a little bit. Next up are the quick draws. Um, the quick draws are 
nicknamed the quick dies for good reason but the quick draw iv4 is one of the best if not the best mrm mech out there so buy this this is a must have let me get to the riflemans um they're all solid fun mechs of uh, a little bit of ducker a little bit of lasers just get the three and see how you like the gameplay legend killer isn't bad dial breaker isn't bad Riflemen 2 c's I didn't like them when they came out beforehand, but they're actually pretty good even once you get to know them. Um, the Rifleman 2C Standard Edition is very interesting because you can alpha strike four large pulse lasers at the same time. But uh, my recommendation is to get the Rifleman 2C2. Just slap, I don't know, uh, six AC2 in there and you'll have a lot of fun with that. Great Dakar mech. Roughnecks. The Roughneck Powerhouse is, in my opinion, one of the best heavy-sized brawlers in the game. Compact, nice brawling. AC20, 3 SRM6 with Artemis. Um, you're going to have a lot of fun with that. One of my most used uh, brawling mechs. If not that, maybe look at the one Bravo. Imagine just two MRM slots being here and here. Fun to play as well. Summoner uh, kind of has fallen out from grace a little bit. You don't see them that much uh, anymore. The jumping around with the little PPCs, so I won't make a recommendation there. Sun Spider. Um, these are interesting. The um, Which one is that? The VG. Ah, the Vanguard. Of course, there's the Vanguard and the, and the Manul. Um, Manul has nice hard points for PPCing. The Vanguard is more of like a mixed brawler slash Daka mech, plus three missile slots. But um, I would recommend look at the, which was that, the Sun Spider Charlie. I mean, you can mix and match the parts again, so that's not a problem. But um, you can do some nice builds with ATMs and streaks here and mix them together. That is very, very powerful. Thanatos. Well, the Thanatos is very interesting. Inner Sphere Heavy that has ECM. Um, as far as recommendations go, there is the Thanatos. Where are you hiding, good sir? Thanatos uh, 5P, double MRM40 plus ECM. Very powerful. And then there's the Thanatos 5S. You can run it with double gauze. You can run it with an AC20 and an LB20. Also a lot of fun to play. All right. Then we have the Thunderbolts. There is the Top Dog Hero Mech. That's recommended by Fun Laser Vomit Mech to play. Uh, the other Thunderbolts are all not too bad. Um, if you want to get one of them, maybe look at the 5SS. Pull out MRM40 or MRM30 up top and some medium lasers and you will be golden. Timberwolf. Um... It's an Omnimac, just get the Prime, for example, but not really recommended because it's a little bit flimsy and not as agile anymore as it used to be, fallen a little bit from grace. And then last but not least, definitely not least, the Warhammer Black Widow by this mech recommended by Quad Daka, two in each side torso, really, really nice. Also very good with Triple Rack 2 plus XL Engine, special tip, guys. Um, if you're not into that, then uh, the 7S is very solid as a brawler with Triple SRMs. Or you could play it with um, MRMs and medium lasers. The, where is it? 4L. Interesting thing to look at because it comes equipped with ECM. So you can do six lasers, um, an MRM launcher up top, and you have ECM to boot. So that is really, really nice. Or if you want to go with the Inner Sphere Light Death Strike, six medium lasers, two Gauss rifles on the 6R. You have to go XL for that, but... You know, no risk, no fun. All right, guys, let's talk about assault mechs now. <laughs> TTP just gets like a big, big stamp, just goes bye, 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 bye. No, 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 no. Not like that, but a little bit like that. Annihilator, mean baby, a lot of fun to play, nice brawler, nice with LRMs even. Dr. Lermenstein and Dr. Brawlenstein in, in one mech. Mean baby, bye. Annihilator 2 Alpha, Definite buy and Annihilator 1X definite buy. With the Annihilator 1P, also an option for uh, Faction Warfare because it has this, this nice color of large lasers that you can build. Then we go into the Atlas. Atlas Kraken, recommended buy, absolutely. If you don't want to go for the Hero Mech, go for the Atlas 7 Delta. It's a really, really good mech. Also very similar in hard points, uh, just missing one laser. Um, DDC, if you want to go a little bit ECME or stealthy, but doesn't have as much armor. But the most durable mechs in here are the Kraken and the Delta. And also look at the Kilo Atlas 7K, because that thing can run uh, heavy gauze, MRMs, and double AMS. 
The awesomes are not my specialty, but have a look at the 8Q because that thing can shoot uh, PPC, all PPCs, any PPC in triplets without a problem. So triple ER PPC, for example, not a problem on that thing. Then come the Banshees, um, a little bit more difficult to recommend something here, but I would say if you're getting one of the Banshees or if you plan to get a Banshee, get the 3M, that's a really solid Banshee, or get the 3S, because that one can also do Daka a little bit or can use missiles. So something like um, 8 medium lasers and an MRM-40 would be possible, potentially, with this build. So um, 3S and 3M, very, very solid. Then come the Battle Masters, well... The battle masters are doing exactly what they're advertising. They're masters of battle. Um, the 1G is interesting. For example, MRM up top plus uh, seven medium lasers or six medium lasers. You don't want to go into ghost heat, of course. Um, there is also the battle master two. This is the two C. It's really hard to keep all these uh, models in my mind. Um, I want to go for the one that has. Energy heat minus 5%. This one was it, the 1S, but that one comes equipped only with four energy hard points. So that is not, <laughs> not the best one that we could use for the job here. Um, I think it was the, the one Delta or the one Gulf. You just have to look at my old videos, guys. There's tons of videos on, on lots of lots of Battlemaster builds. Then Blood Asps, Rancor recommended by Insane Machine with ATMs and lasers. And if you don't get the Rancor, then get the Blood Asp. Alpha, because here you have to buy the Alpha because you cannot switch out uh, Omnipods for the center torso guys. So get the Alpha that comes equipped with the um, ECM slot CT, and then you can just mix and match around that and do all sorts of Daka builds whatsoever. You can only do missiles properly if you get the Rancor, by the way. So do get the Rancor if you if you have the um, MC available. Chargers are all a little bit meh. Um, nothing nothing crazy about them. Um, not a recommended buy, none of them. Corsairs, buy the Corsair 7A. That's the quad AMS Corsair. Do a build with lasers and racks or a build with lasers and, and gauss rifles. You will be golden and you will be helping your team quite a bit. The Corsair is a very interesting mech. The 5T, for example, is nice with Dakar arms. Um, the 7R can do a lot of missiles. Um, We've, all, we've done all sorts of builds on the Corsair. Just look through the channel. All really, really fun and interesting and nice to play. Cyclops, Sleipnir, must have for anybody who plays this game. One of the strongest mechs in the game. Agile, double uh, UAC 10, double UAC 5, or um, most likely you see this thing with quad LB10. If you're not getting the Sleipnir, but you just want to get a Cyclops, look at the 10Q for a... Brutal SRM6 or Streak 6 Brawler. Or um, take a look at the uh, 11 ADC. Same thing, nice uh, Atlas style brawler. If you want to have ECM, you have to check out the 11P. Direwolf. The king of long range holds. If shooting AC2s is second nature to you, then you need to have and you must buy the Direwolf Ultra Violet or ultra violent or the mobile oppression palace as i like to call it uh, we do cons consecutively well with this thing with um damage numbers of 1500 to 1700 not being too crazy if you don't want to shut out the mc just get the direwolf prime and just mix and match executioners are hard to play max i cannot recommend the uh, chirby hero mech although it can run quite nicely with double atms up top so just get the prime and uh, mix and match just have a look through my builds fafnir's oh fafnir fafnir raf recommended by just for the paint job and you can do like 100 alpha strike builds on this thing's definitely worth a shot fafnir 5 recommended by definitely as well as the Fafnir, which one is it? The five. Um, mm -hmm. Bravo. That's your heavy gauss Fafnir. Also a recommended buy. As well as the, where is it hiding? 5E. If you want to do lots of missiles, for example, you can do that as well. Although I will probably use the RAF for that because it's a, bit, a little bit better equipped for that. Gargoyles. If you like that kind of fast, lightly armored assault gameplay, um, the Kinwolf is just a nice, um, nice paint job, and it has. I mean, that's that's it. It has a nice paint job. Um, if you don't want to run the uh, gargle that often, just get the Prime and just. Um, I always recommend to try out the Knife Fighter builds with small lasers and ER micro lasers. 
Atamotochi, um, you don't have to have one. They're interesting, but a little bit gimmicky. Um, maybe try out the, which one is it? The 28 TR or the 27T with a nice MRM build. Yep, I will probably do the TR because it has 10% cooldown on the missiles. Highlander, unique Warhorn in the heavy metal. Um, takes a lot of skill to play, is not as easy to play, but has a surprising amount of armor. Um, the other models are also not too bad, but you don't see that many Highlanders out there because they're a little bit difficult to play. Highlander 2 Cs, the Keeper is a really good brawler mech. Um, I, I enjoy playing that a lot. If you're not getting that thing, then look at the Highlander 2 C Alpha, because that thing can shoot triple ERPPC together without incurring Ghost Heat. King Krabs, the Kaiju, is a solid solid um, hero mech. If you don't get that thing, then look at the King Crab Triple Zero for lots and lots of Daka. The Kodiak used to be the king of the battlefield, not so much anymore. The Spirit Bear is a nice gimmicky assault mech that can run with Mask. Um, it is, however, a lot slower than it used to be. Um, if you're getting just one Kodiak, get the Kodiak 3. That's probably the best one in terms of Dakaing. Just put WX5 and WX10 in there and you should be good. But you might not want to buy, buy that mech because the Mad Cat Mark II Bravo can do the same thing and is smaller and faster. And uh, also, very important, the Mad Cat Death Strike, really, really powerful mech, double Gauss Rifles and 6 ear medium lasers, for example. Nice pinpoint mech, so definitely get that if you don't have it yet. Then come the Marauder 2s. Um, there's only two recommendations in here that I really have. The other ones are gimmicky and or hard to play. And that is the Marauder 2 4L, Stealth, Double Gauss, and ERPPC. That is fun to play. And the 4 HP, because that thing can host a whopping 9 missiles. So you can do something like Streak 52. If you've watched the live stream today, we did 1,000... 700 damage on HPG Manifold with Streak 52. Uh, go watch that stream if you haven't seen it. It was hilarious. So, or you can also do like something like a um, nice SRM Brawler here or an MRM mech. I mean, there's really... All options are open. You could even run LRMs on this. Um, 4 HP is, in my opinion, the best Marauder 2. Marauder 2C, the Scorch, is a very good brawler mech, hero mech, very, very interesting. If you don't get that, then just get any of these and just mix and match because, nope, hang on, that is not an Omni mech, huh? See? See how easy it is to be put on the wrong track? So the Marauder 2C is actually also a battle mech, so you cannot go ahead and mix and match. You have to decide which one you want to have. And for that, my recommendation would be to check out just the Marauder 2C, plain old, just put a lot of lasers in there, for example, 9 medium pulse lasers, and go for that. That is also fun to play. The Maulers are, um, well, there's also, there's just two simple recommendations here, Mauler MX-90 for lots of Daka, and the Mauler 2P for a heavy gauss and lasers build. Then we get the Nightstars, the Wolf Phoenix is a decent missile mech with MRMs, and the Nightstar, which one is it? It is the... Nightstar 9S, it can't run very many weapons, you have 4 medium lasers and 2 ultra ac 20s but there is no ghost heat on the uac 20s so uh, tap twice for 80 damage. Very very nice, a very surprising alpha strike firepower. Then we get to the Stalkers, the Stalker 3FB is a highly recommended build, uh, buy for me. It's a ECM Stalker that comes with 6 energy weapons and 2 missile slots. You can also get the Stalker 3F that you have seen in a video lately that is the Brawlenberg or the Hinden Brawl. And the Misery is also a decent enough hero mech. The Supernova, the uh, Boiler, also has that heat scale limit plus one for the um, UAC-20 and uh, makes for a brutal, brutal brawler. So also recommended by. If you're not getting that, then get the Supernova Alpha and just do what everybody does with this thing. Lerms or ATMs and you will have a lot of fun. For the Victor, uh, you might want to get the Victor, which is it... Boop, 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 boop. Why are you hiding from me, Mac? Ah, it's this one. The Victor 9A1, and just go with the Gauss nipples. Warhammer to see interesting mechs. Do not get the bludgeon, it's, it's uh, not a good mech. Um, the 
mall is actually not too bad. Um, but all the other models are also pretty interesting. Um, the Warhammer 2C straight up is not too bad, but you should probably look at the Warhammer 2C2 because that thing can run LRM95, it can run brutal brawler builds with SRMs, it can run strict builds. It's all over a very, very fun mech to play. And if you're looking for a little bit of Dakar, then get the... Where is it? Where are you hiding? And why are you hiding from me? Ha! Huh, it's the Alpha. We've got um, SRMs up here, for example, and then some uh, shotguns, for example, in the arms. Then we've got the Warhawks, and in the Warhawks I would just recommend to get the Warhawk. Which one is it? The Prime has PPC Velocity and Heat Generation. Uh, I can I can no, never tell which one is the best one for the PPCs, but um, I'm sure somebody will write it below the video. That's PPC Velocity and 4% Energy Heat, so maybe it is the Prime. I think it is the Prime, but it might also be the Charlie, let's see. No, okay. Let's just go, let's just go with the Prime and just slap Quad Ear PPC in there and you will have a lot of fun. And then finally, for the Zeus, it's Kokomish if you want to have an assault mech with an XL engine that can go over 110 kph. It's a meme, but it's also a lot of fun. Then play the Zeus Kokomish. Other than that, the other Zeuses are not that insanely interesting. There's nothing in here that would be extremely powerful. Maybe try a 9S with an MRM40 and 6 medium lasers. Once again, guys, important, mech bays are on sale. That is the most important thing I need to tell you guys so that you can go ahead and uh, get them while they're hot. Make sure you have a few mech bays available because until the next sale, we, we don't know when that's going to be. So you might want to stock up on these. And I am going to buy my Piranha Alpha now as a reward. And now I have to make Geneal this thing. Isn't that beautiful? Well, guys... I hope this video was helpful to you. I hope you got a few ideas of what to buy here. If you're looking for specific builds for these mechs in more detail, use the search function on my channel and you will find all of the builds that I talked about and even some of the builds that I don't even remember anymore because we've got a about a thousand videos now on the channel. Thanks for watching. Thumbs up if you liked it. And if you want to support me, check out my Patreon link in the description below and join the TTB army. Take care, guys. Have a great day and bye-bye.